Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the RS200 from Fast and Furious 4. Now, praise Rockstar for releasing this Vapid GP200 into the game because it is a perfect replica for the Ford RS200 from Fast and Furious 4. It is very expensive at $940,000, but if you want to create this car, this is the perfect replica for it because it is identical to it. I can't really pinpoint anything that is on this GB200 which is different to the RS200 from real life. So if you guys do want to follow me on this build, like I said, it's going to cost you $940,000 to purchase this vehicle. But once you have purchased your vehicle, meet me in LS Customs and I'll show you how to do the rest. So here you go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs you'll see the Vapid GB200 is in the sports category. And as you will also notice that this vehicle has already been customized and upgraded uh, because I did use this car for my review video which was um, uploaded a few days ago. So if you'd like to check it out, go and check it out, why the hell not. Uh, so I am going to have armor all the way purchased, brakes, engine, all that sort of stuff. But I will be going through it as normal. Um, but just be aware that things will be purchased already. But nevertheless, let's crack on with this build and we're going to start with armor. We're going to get the 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper, at the moment, as you can see, I've got this exposed in the cooler because I was going for a street racer kind of look for this build because I knew, you know, a couple of videos, a couple of days later, I was going to be doing this build and uh, this build is very much like a rally variation of this car so i wanted to go street racer originally when i done the review that's why it looks a bit funky you know a little bit like a i don't know <laughs> looks a bit strange I, went, I was thinking outside the box a little bit with this uh, so yeah that's why i made it look a little bit more like a street racer but now obviously we're doing the rs 200 from fast and furious 4 so it's a little bit more like a rally look um so a lot of things are going to be different like I said, we've got the exposed intercooler purchased at the moment, but we are going to change that because it doesn't really have a low, um, you know, chin spoiler like that. It is a little bit higher, and it is a lot like this one, actually. That is pretty much exactly what we need. So, yeah, we're going to go with the fog light covers. So, next we've got the rear diffuser, and we've got the diffuser with the tow hook at the moment. Um, we don't want any of that, though. We, we want to remove it altogether. So yeah, we're going to go with a removed diffuser. Next, we've got the chassis. At the moment, I've got the chrome cage installed. We've got the rally setup, which is what we're going to need, I think. Do we? Because we do get the rally fog lights as well. Uh, but with the rally setup, we get the roll cage uh, installed also. So in that case, we are going to purchase the rally setup. Next, we've got the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then for the exhausts... Uh, well, we've got two options. We've got a stock or a twin, twin chrome. Uh, the stock one is a bit puny and a little bit pathetic, so we are going to stay twin chrome exhaust. Next, we're going to go to the lights. We're going to go to headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. For the neon kit, uh, I've got a neon kit purchased at the moment, but like I said in my review video, I don't tend to go with underglows because I'm not a massive fan of them. Um, but we are definitely going to be removing this, so we've got to go none for the neon glow. So then we're going to skip past the livery, also the loss prevention because that should already be purchased. Uh, the mirrors, I think we're going to leave the stock, which we are, we're going to leave them stock. And then for the mud guards, we are going to purchase the mud guards. Next we're going to go to the respray, we're going to go primary colour and into metallic. And from here, we are then going to go and purchase, we're going to get the ice white. Same for the secondary colour guys, you also are going to metallic and go and purchase ice white. Next, we do get the option for a sun strip, but the car in the film does not have one, so we're going to skip past that. Then we've got the side skirts. You do want to grab these extended skirts. We're going to skip past the spoiler. Uh, we're going to go with the suspension. Shall we get the... Well, we've got race suspension at the moment, but we are going to change that because we want to make it a little bit higher because it is a bit of a rally vehicle. We're going to go with a sports suspension. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get the race transmission for the trunk. Wow. Uh, oh, okay, so it's the hood, because we've got the a rear engine, <laughs> so technically, this is where you're going to keep your shit, so it is, uh, the hood is now the trunk, which is a bit weird. And the one we need, the Vented Rallycross 3, um, yeah, that's the one we need, but then it, it covers up our headlights, which is a bit of a pain in the dick, because we need this hood, but we also need these headlights. So, I, I think the headlights are more important than the hood um, but a lot of these hood options remove the headlights I don't get it it's, it's a bit of a fucking weird thing to do so in that case I think yeah I think the stock the stock trunk is probably the best way to go 
Then we've got the turbo, we're going to get the turbo tuning for the wheels. We are going to wheel typing into the lowrider category, standard stock rims. Then you want to go and find these super thin rims. Once you purchase them, you want to then go into the wheel color and change it to frost white. Also here, guys, you want to go into the tire enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tires. And to finish off the build, as always, you want to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go, my bros, there is my variation of the Ford RS200 from Fast and Furious 4. Now, as you can see, this Vapid GB200 is, like I've already said, pretty much identical to the Ford RS200 from real life. I'm really, really struggling to find anything um, which makes it not like the RS200 from real life. It's just a fucking dead ringer. The headlights are the same. You can get the front bumper, which is the same. The rear is the same. This big fin on the back is the same. We've got the same fucking hood scoop. Uh, sorry, the same roof scoop. It's just really, really difficult to find anything about this vehicle which is different from the RS200 from real life, which makes this Vapid GB200 a perfect car to use for this build. And um, I'm overly overly impressed with this build and uh, I, I'm so happy that Rockstar has released this car into the game it's just fucking unreal and to, for Rockstar to have the cheek the fucking full cheek to call this car a GB200 you know is uh, <laughs> is fucking cheeky <laughs> that is fucking cheeky but um, you know they, they've done the RS200 proud with this build man that is fucking sweet it looks awesome it sounds awesome and it is a dead ringer for the RS200 uh, from real life, so that's why I had to make this build. I just had to. And it's a, a rally version of my review build that I've done as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, as always, smash a like if you did enjoy. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this car in the comments below and how you're feeling about the up-and-coming vehicles into the game, i.e. the Ellie and the Jester Classic, the EC Classic. Man, we've got some fucking awesome vehicles on its way. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.